Hey, welcome back to the garage, everyone. All right, so today uh, I thought we would just take a uh, another shakedown cruise, I think. Uh, this will be number three. The first one was very short, and the second one was a little longer, and today I think we'll make this one even longer. So um, I've got the interior back together, thankfully. That was a lot of work. I didn't want to drag you guys through all that. Find all the screws, make sure they're all in the right place, get everything back together, Properly had to wait on the uh, clear lens on the air conditioning controls to come in before I could put all of that stuff back together The interior is cleaned up and she's ready to drive uh, The only thing left is to uh, get the air conditioner installed uh, still need to uh, Fix the the brake light is on in the dashboard Either the proportioning valve needs to be reset or maybe there's a loose wire somewhere. I'm not sure uh, I still haven't flipped the steering wheel around 180 degrees, uh, so that'll be a little bit of annoying to uh, look at today, but I'll get over it. Uh, I was going to move the steering wheel around inside the car, but I think, but I thought better of it, and I think what I'm going to do is just flip it around at the rag joint. So I'll just disconnect the two bolts on this side of the rag joint, flip the steering wheel around, and uh, reconnect them. So that won't be a huge deal. Anyway, but I have a couple of things I wanted to chat about today. I wanted to talk about the engine top end kit and I wanted to talk about the transmission and just uh, give a good review of those in general. So, uh, all right, I'm going to put you guys in the back of the car here so that you can see straight ahead and uh, let's go for a ride. All right, we're just kind of tooling around in the neighborhood here. I got my windows down. The uh, air conditioner ain't working. Because it ain't there. How about that? So give me a couple of weeks and we'll get that squared away. But uh, if we get out on the main drag, I'll roll the windows up anyway. It's not too hot today, thankfully. I can bear with the heat for a little while. Yes, the brake light is still on. The steering wheel is still upside down. It'll be all right. We're just going to tool around, and my choke is still on. There we go. Uh-oh. Almost released my clutch a little bit too quickly there. Nothing like screwing up a start-off in a manual transmission car in front of people and watching them laugh at you. Thankfully, there's nobody around. I'm still trying to get used to this hydraulic clutch. We are not going to go tear-assing around town. We are going to baby this car just like a little old lady going to church on Sunday. I reckon I ought to put my seatbelt on. How about that? My window cracked over here a little bit so I can breathe. Can't put my seat belt on. I got the the thing is like stuck behind the seat, so I need to pull over and uh, pull my seat forward and uh, get it from behind there, and then I can be then I can strap in. So I'm gonna pull up. At, uh, I'm gonna pull over at this gas station up here on the right. And get my seat belt on because I feel kind of naked. So uh, let me take care of that real quick. All right. Hmm. Was that a tire rub? Shakedown cruise is all about, don't you know? Well, let's wait on the cars. 
I live kind of in a busy place. It's like you can't just leave your house and then just go tear assing around. You. side pipe tubes connect I can hear it you know out there I tried to seal it up with some of that exhaust pipe black sealant I got it sealed up pretty well but a little more work to do there but uh, this car is pretty good even with you know the few little foibles that we have here with the brakes and the steering wheel and the air conditioner and all that kind of stuff just wanted to take you guys on a little cruise here and uh, you know let you see how it was running and uh, just take you along I uh, figured I owed you that much anyway so uh, let's talk about the engine for a little bit first off let me, let me get a little air there you might have a little road noise but uh, we're just going to deal with it I can't you know dive uh, heat, ex heat exhaustion <laughs> So, uh, how about that engine top end kit? I, you know what? I'm thoroughly impressed with it. I haven't had any problems whatsoever. And uh, I told you guys early on in this video series that I would uh, highlight the vendor after I was done. And I think the time has come. I didn't want to, you know, say, oh, that's great. And then the motor blew up, you know, or something like that. I thought, you know, that'd be kind of silly. So, anyway, so. A while back, I was looking around. I was trying to find an all-inclusive Chevrolet small block top-end kit with a roller valve train that had everything you needed, all right? From the lifters all the way up to the intake, okay? Uh, so lifters, push rods, rockers, cam, heads, valves, springs, intake, and I could have got a carb too, but I opted not to. I wanted to keep my quadrajet. Matter of fact, I got an intake with this kit, but I opted not to use it uh, and just use my original intake. So for, you know, I just wanted the top of the motor to look original, that's all, or original-ish, I guess you might say. So started hunting around on the internet and I really couldn't find what I was looking what I was looking for. I, you know, I was like, why isn't this a thing? You know? And I'm well that and I was a little cheap too, so keep that in mind. <laughs> anyway, so I ran across a website, uh, Motorsports Unlimited. And uh, from what I gather, it's a small business owned by one guy. I don't know if he has anybody working with him. But uh, it's a fellow by the name of Lance Stillwell at uh, Motorsports Unlimited. If you go to their website, I'll put a link to it here in the, in the uh, video. And uh, if you go over there, it's all there, man. You want a top-end kit for your old Chevrolet uh, small block engine? From soup to nuts, everything you need to convert to a roller setup, it's all right there. All you got to do is buy the kit. And you can customize it a little bit with the carburetor and the, and especially with the camshaft. There's a variety of camshafts that are available to, to choose from. So, but the cool thing is, you can just pick up the phone and call Lance. I called him up. We talked through what I wanted to do with the engine, and uh, we picked out a camshaft that's, you know, it's it's pretty beefy. To, you know, it's got a lot of 
much used to it, but it's at the same time, it's a little mild, right? Because I wanted drivability. I wanted my good vacuum and I wanted to be able to sit at a stoplight and with the air conditioner on and flip my uh, flip up headlights and all that kind of jazz. So anyway, over the last several months, uh, as I worked on this engine, slowly but surely, you know, if I needed a little something, if I had a question, I could just pick up the phone and say, hey man, what about this option? Can I do this? Will I hurt anything? He's like, ah, don't worry about that. That'll be fine. Just do it this way. I'm like, okay, cool, thanks. And I'm like, I was so pleased with the level of customer service, the completeness of the kit, right? And all of the parts are exceptionally good quality. And I tell you what, I'm, I'm really pleased with the outcome. So Lance, buddy, I just wanted to, uh, this part of the video is for you. If you're watching, man, I appreciate you. Man, I tell you what, the, uh, the temperature stays really nice with the, uh, with the hood off. Hopefully it'll uh, do the same when I uh, finally get the hood back on this car. And our oil pressure, fantastic. It's just off the chain. Hopefully the gauge is correct. So let's move on to the transmission. Tremec TKX, uh, five speed from Silver Sport Transmissions. You saw me uh, do an, a review of this on the, uh, on the channel some months ago. Uh, but I wanted to give another shout out to uh, Silver Sport. Those guys are fantastic. Their tech support people are just really friendly. If I have a little bit of a problem, all I gotta do is pick up the phones and boom, I'm in there. He provides me with a little bit of guidance and like, ah, okay, great, I got it now, right? So boom, you go do whatever you're doing. And I was able to get this thing in the car. The transmission works flawlessly. I've got no problems with it whatsoever. Uh, the hydraulic clutch, I absolutely love it. It took me a little bit of time to get used to it because I just, well, I wasn't used to it. Now, the old clutch was like, man, it was stiff, boy. Let me tell you what, it was clearly, it was all manual and uh, it was just a mess. That, I, was, I was so glad I got rid of it because the drivability of this car was just, it was pretty awful, to be honest with you, especially driving it in heavy traffic. So with this transmission though, starting off at a red light is just so simple. Uh, it's just, just so simple. I can't believe how easy it is to drive. I just wish my air conditioner would work. Whoops, there we go. Still not quite used to it. I keep wanting, because when you have it in neutral at rest, it, if you just push it straight up, it goes to third. And uh, anyway, so you have to pull it over a little bit and then go to first, which is, you know, whatever. That's just the way it is. But uh, I think you're supposed to, like, drive the car like 500 miles on the transmission or something like that. I think that's the break-in period. You're supposed to, just supposed to take it easy, you know, so. And that's what we're going to do. Once I get my uh, alignment done and get my air conditioner done, I'm going to go ahead and take it on a, uh, a long road trip. And uh, that'll be my break-in period. A long, slow road trip. Keep my speeds down to, you know, no more than about 60 probably. My odometer, 51,306. The other day when I started test driving this thing, it was 51,280. So I've got, you know, I've got a few miles on it now. Probably gonna change the oil here, uh, here in a couple of days just as a matter of, safe, as, uh, of safety, just to make sure there's nothing in the filter and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, overdrive, 45 miles an hour at 1,500 RPM. That's pretty cool. time I drive this car I get I don't know I'm just I'm not used to it yet 
it's like basically driving a brand new car nothing about it is the same as it as it was the way it was i was used to it you know but this i'm not so much so if we uh Let's get it up to 55 here, and we'll see what the RPMs are. 1750, I guess, is about what that is. At 55, I'm in a 45 zone, so I'm not really supposed to be doing that, but let's put it on 60 rule, just for a moment. And about 1900 at 60 miles an hour, something like that, I don't know, something like that. I'm not sure how accurate the tack is, but uh, at 60 miles an hour with the old transmission, I was running nearly 3,000 RPM. At 70, it's 3,500. 80 uh, was, let's see, every 10 miles an hour was 500 RPM. So basically 100 miles an hour was five grand. Uh, anyway, so we're doing 50. I'm assuming I can just take it down into fourth. Just to let's see what the fourth gear on this tread. Let's see what it does here. Yeah. Yeah, about 20, uh, 28, 29, something in there. It's one to one. I'm assuming. I think it's one to one. Anyway. summers has come back uh, even though it's almost uh, October all right everybody that's it for today I appreciate you guys coming along with me on this little test drive don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you'd like to be notified whenever I release a new video don't forget to click that little bell down below you guys have a good one and remember to enjoy driving your classic Corvette